Hello everyone, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com. We're doing another video. Mike is going to be in the studio tomorrow and the rest of the week. We're going to be doing uh, top five electronic devices of 2013. We're also going to do a couple other videos along with um, an Ultrabook review. And uh, why don't we get this video started? Of course, most and all of our videos are helped out by ShoppyReaders.com. That's why we have their awesome cup here. And they gave us uh, lots of their cups and mouse pads and merch and all that. Anyways, today's video, I we've been putting it off too long. I've been putting it off too long. I feel the need to really show you guys my phone. I, just, I have to. This is the Docomo NEC Medias WNO5E. That is the real name of it. Um, you might have to rewind or go back to uh, kind of catch that again. Um, I guess people call it the NO5E and it's by NEC. It's a, uh, it's a very nice smartphone. We're gonna have specs uh, down below on the comment uh, description area. And we will zoom in of course, but I'm just gonna lean over for the initial shot here. It is a full screen uh, candy bar smartphone kind of layout. However, you can open it up it actually turns into two phones. Well, one phone with a ginormous six and a half to seven inch screen, depending on which way you kind of measure it. Uh, it's really cool, it's really thin, it's really light, it's not that expensive, so let's uh, zoom in and get a closer look on this. This phone is spectacular. I honestly don't know where it's been my whole life. Let's just do a quick hardware before we dive into looking at it on the inside. So on the left, you'll see these little dots that is kind of a grip for when you open it. I'll show you that in a second. Power button, volume up and down, LED status indicator, uh, 3.5 mil headphone jack, single speaker. I wish it was double, but uh, dual, but when you're uh, dealing with a phone such as this, it's kind of hard to put that somewhere. Microphone, hinges, micro USB, you have a light sensor and an earpiece. And then on the back, you have full cam uh, camera with full LED flash. So we're going to turn this on. I'm gonna have to change my lock code. Or <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't matter if you guys see that. You don't know, you don't uh, see me and grab my phone away from me. So anyways, let's dive in. Once this is open, you can do two things. You can have the uh, device run the same thing on both, uh, not the same thing on both screens, but the full screen experience. So kind of like a secondary computer monitor. Uh, you'll see that you can go left and right, up and down, everything just kind of just becomes a big screen. Or you can collapse it and this is moving it into one screen. And what this does is allow you to have the full Android experience on this side. And that's just loading up there. So it uh, defaults to the web browser. So you have a full standard, standard, standard Android experience here and you can kind of browse the web on this side and uh, go to your favorite sites, Google. So this comes in handy when you want to go to Google, for example, like so, start typing something in and maybe, I don't know, you want to calculate something on this side and you know, you look at your finances and you're like, oh, this is how much this is. And then you go back here and you're like, oh, I need to, you know, find, find something there. And, um, yeah, it's really cool. You can do two things at once. Uh, you can, you know, make notes. You can go and view your uh, pictures, all that fun stuff. So we're going to expand this into the full experience because we're going to show you a couple things here. Let's go to the Play Store and uh, let's go to top free apps. See what we have going on here. Angry Birds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's show you this Sonic game. So we're going to click on the video and we'll show you two things here when we click on the vid. So it loads up into the full screen experience. The black bar down the middle actually isn't as bad as you'd think once you use it for about a week. You start to really not notice it. It's kind of weird. I know it looks hard on camera like, oh, that gets in the way. It really doesn't. You can also crack this in half which actually sends the screen to this side and we'll continue playing. And if you notice, there is a little double button down in the corner. When you press that, you actually get the same thing on both displays. So you can sit down at lunch with someone 
and you bo you guys can both watch the thing without anyone having to creep around the corner. You can even close it and it works on both sides. Same video, really fast, no lag. Same video on both sides. I think it's a good idea because you could even hold it up like this and say, hey, check this out and shove the phone right in the face and they'll be like, oh, you see the same thing we do. Anyways, that's a cool part about having the uh, kind of duplicate monitor. Um, the, the phone only really gets laggy when you kind of open and close it because it needs to optimize what it has to do next. Other than that, once you once it is open, it's really fast. Uh, let's play a game real quick here to show you guys how smooth it really is. This is Angry Birds Go. I like this game. It's really fun. I think we showed this on our top five uh, apps of 2013. It's a really engaging game. You can't control the speed in which you drive but you can control things like handling strength overall top speed but you can't there's no gas pedal uh or acceleration and there's no brake so that gets a little annoying at times uh so let's go and start a race here we'll just do something easy yeah choose the default car choose a race sure And um, I'm pretty sure even at this point, you guys don't believe me that that black bar isn't really as bad as it seems. But once you start using this phone after a while, you don't even notice it. It's really cool though, because the phone is, it's really no laggier than, I mean, it's, it's, nothing's really wrong with it. I mean, it's not, you'd think it'd be a lot slower and choppier, but it's only a dual core processor and it's running as smooth as it is with both screens operate, operating at the same time, which I think is, uh, it's a very nice, it's a very good thing to see, because when I first got this, I'm like, oh great, second I open it, it's going to be like, oh, crash, crash, Android app has stopped because it's not optimized for two screens. I have never had an Android app not work on this phone. Nothing has ever kind of stopped processing or crashed or forced closed. Everything seems to be able to optimize itself to the full screen experience, which is really cool. And of course, you can do any app in both full screen and single screen. So, um, because this is a square 4x3 and it's not 16x9 like the individual monitors, when you do certain things, it may be stretched. But the phone is pretty good at doing what, uh, at conforming things to the full, um, full screen experience. Camera works a little bit interesting as well. We'll show you that. Probably going to shoot our ceiling here and the camera. Um, so. Yeah, you can see that this way. So you can shoot the camera like this. Hello. Or if you turn it around, it's going to then shoot upwards on the back. So that's kind of cool. So that is my phone. This is the phone I use every day. I honestly do not know where this has been my whole life. I cannot believe I've been stuck to using one screen. I think it is a really, it's a really good phone. It's really, it's capable too because it's dual core and there's two screens. It, it, it's not that different from a regular phone in terms of battery life, in terms of uh, sluggishness, uh, high speed, whatever way you want to look at it. I, I really don't know what I did with one screen before. I, I'm glad I found this because doing two, having two screens to kind of play around with two things at once, you do your, uh, email on one side or web browsing on one side or just kind of join them together and get a full screen experience and like i said before that black bar in the middle after using it for about a week or so you don't even notice it there anymore it doesn't really get in the way as much as you'd think that's my phone leave a comment let us know if you want us to help you find one um, we don't sell them ourselves uh, but we can definitely help you locate one if you like if you like this video, check out all of our other videos. We're currently at 760 something videos, so there's lots for everyone. As always, we do requests, so please everyone let us know what you want us to film. We have lots of e-readers in the other room over there, got lots of tablets, um, uh, we got lots of just random devices. If you guys want us to review anything, drop anything, unbox anything buy something to show you guys for the first time let us know that's what we're here for that's what we do we've expanded into this gigantic room for a reason people anyways please leave a comment please subscribe please let us know if you need anything and for another goodie reader video for the docomo nec medi sw n o 5 e this is peter everyone have a great day
I'm not even gonna say I hope you guys enjoyed that video because I know you guys enjoyed that video. That is the coolest phone ever. Everyone loves my phone in the office. Yes. Brought that in one day, everyone's like, whoa, Peter's got two phones side by side. I'm like, no, 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 it's one phone that you can fold in half. Anyways, we just hit 9 million views. That's pretty good. That's, that's actually, it's not spectacular. We'd probably get tons more views if we had fat guys falling down staircases and stuff. But from what we kind of do, e-readers and tablets, it's pretty good. We'll see some more videos on this side. See some more videos on this side. We'll have a subscribe button in the top corner, wherever I'm pointing up there. And uh, remember, we do requests, so if you guys have any matchups, comparisons, reviews, unboxing ideas, let us know. You've seen the 760 videos we do have. Let us know if you want us to kind of go a little bit deeper into any of those. We know that we release something and people are like, oh, what does this experience look like on it? That's called a request. So keep on requesting, keep on watching. Thank you guys very much. Seriously, thank you guys for watching. Not a lot of people say this directly, but thank you. Thank you for watching.